Right, so we need to speak about the National 10. Now, this happened a couple weeks ago, and I just think the UK time trial scene is getting embarrassing. And this is obviously my own personal opinion and has no real relevance on performance or anything else. And this is purely from an aesthetic and kind of looks part of cycling, which I know some people have no uh, you know, opinion of. So we've got Dowsett. Now, he just looks like an idiot. He's got this massive fairing on his stomach, which obviously is banned in UCI races, but not in CGT. And I think they should ban them because it just looks stupid. And people are like, oh, it's bust, you know. But come on, there's no talent in whacking something in your chest. Like, being fat shouldn't be an advantage in a sport like cycling. So, again, like, that's just really ridiculous. Like, like people are, like, whacking stuff down the front. Then just, like, the water bottles behind. Like, I know, you know, it's a 10-mile TT, whatever, have your fairings on. But, like, you just look at him, you're just like, it just looks so stupid, this sport. you got your, your ankles, like, your aero socks up to your, basically your knees. You've got a, two water bottles for a 10-mile TT. You've stuffed loads of stuff down the front of your skin suit. Like, oh, it's just ridiculous. It just looks so stupid. Um, and I think, like, although, you know, people are like, oh, it's an easy gain to have and all this stuff. Uh, I just I just personally think, you know, you've got to have some aesthetics in cycling. You know, we're not hacking around on two, like, the Cervelo P5X or whatever it was with, with um, not the triangle. Like, there is some aesthetic with cycling. And I think it's important to keep some aesthetic and keep people into time trials. And stuff like this, I don't think turns people on. They're not like, oh, wow, I want to do time trials. You look at this and you're like, they just look stupid. Again, more people stuffing stuff in their stomachs. Um, again, like it just is ridiculous. Joe Laverick whacks a skin suit down his, uh, down the front. He said to me, eight watts or something, but it just looks ridiculous. I mean, I just, I just think like, um, you know, people are going crazy. But this is the man I really want to speak of. Richard Bus, he's got things behind his calves, he's got things behind his, uh, like, elbows, he's got things on his stomach, like, it's just getting absolutely bonkers, in my opinion, like, it just, it's just not really, like, you know, it's, it's not, it's not part of cycling, and I know obviously aerodynamics is, but, you know, there's a difference between tucking your head faster, testing what's the quickest position, but whacking stuff behind your calves, I mean, it's not pure cyclismo, that's for sure. It's it's just it's a different thing, and I I think you know I might be very unpopular in my in my thoughts of this, but I do think cycling time trials who look after the TTs in the UK need to get some rules, no fairings. You know, n you know we need to have a. I think you know it's good to have time trials accessible. You don't have to have a UCI position, etc. But none of these people are like you know they all know what they're doing. They all know, in my opinion, is basically just cheating. I mean, it's just stupid. Like you know, stuffing stuff down the front of your things or whatever. And I just think it's it's not a good look for the sport. And then again, we have another guy um, who has the old, like, something down his chest. So, yeah, I'm just not a massive fan of um, all of this, to be honest. And then has, a has a, like, a necklace on or whatever this is. Uh, you know, it makes zero sense why you uh, decide to stuff your stomach and keep that on. But, alas, we're not, we're not roasting these people in terms of their position. And stuff like that we're roasting them on just the choice of whacking on aero fairings uh and just you know turning time trials into from a lame sport into a very lame sport but anyway those are just my opinions obviously if you disagree leave your thoughts in the comments but i just think it really cracked me seeing all these people hacking around and it just made me think wow cycling is pretty lame